So this story is called A High Fiber Movement. Hi there, my name is Perry Stolick and I am the large intestine. You'll never guess why I've been checking my mailbox every day. I recently entered a nutrition contest and I am hoping to win. I think this one is right up my alley, the leader of a high fiber movement for my state. Oh my gosh, the letter is finally here. I'm a little nervous to open it. Well, here it goes. Let me read it to you. Dear Perry Stolick, we are pleased to inform you that you are one of the finalists in your state's high fiber movement leadership contest. Yahoo, I made it to the finals. The letter continues. There are a few more steps left to complete before we can select a winner. Please return the following. I really, really want to win this. I'd love it if you would follow along as I make my case for why I'm the natural choice for the job. What do you think my chances are of winning? The first step is to tell them a little bit more about myself and why I think I would make the best high fiber movement leader in my state. My friends, Sid and Kid Kidney, are going to help me by taping a short presentation I've put together. We're doing a practice run now. Let me know what you think, okay? Hello, my name is Perry Stolick, and I am one of the Organ Wise guys. As you can see, I am a large intestine. As an intestine, it is of utmost importance to me that kids and adults eat plenty of high fiber foods. This makes me the perfect spokesperson for your message. My job in the body is to help with waste elimination. In order to make my job easier, I need to have fiber in me so I can squeeze out all of the waste. To help you understand, think of me like a tube of toothpaste when it is new and full. Isn't it easy to get the toothpaste out? That is what I am like when a person eats lots of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. With high fiber foods, I am nice and full. So when it's time to go to the restroom, I just squeeze my muscles easily and move out the waste. Now, let's take a look at what it might be like if a person isn't eating enough fiber rich foods. Have you ever tried to get toothpaste out of an empty tube before? It's not very easy. This is what happens to me. I have a hard time doing my job of getting the garbage out. I know this is not the most pleasant thing to talk about, but it is very important to me. As an intestine, I know firsthand the importance of this movement. So as the high fiber movement leader for my state, you can count on me to get this message out to the public. The Kidney Brothers seem to like it. What do you think? Will this presentation convince them that my knowledge of the importance of eating high fiber foods? Did this help you understand why you need to eat them? I still need to complete these next three items. I have to do this on my own, but I would like you to follow along so you can see how I am doing. I'll even put in earplugs to make sure I can't hear your answers. Number one, below are two bowls of cereal with the total amounts of fiber in each bowl. Circle the one that is healthier for you. All right, so we're just going to do, hold up a number one if you think the first bowl is healthier and a number two if you think the second bowl is healthier, okay? So the first one is one cup of sugar-coated cereal and it has one gram of fiber. The second cereal is one cup of Raisin Bran cereal and it has eight grams of fiber. So go ahead and cast your votes. Hold up a number one if you think the sugar-coated cereal with one gram of fiber is better or hold up a number two if you think the Raisin Bran cereal with eight grams of fiber is better. I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it and then hold up your answer.
All right, what are your answers? Good job. Harry Stolick says, this is the answer I chose, and I'm pretty sure this is right. When we go grocery shopping, my mom always reads the food labels and says she is looking for the cereal with the highest amounts of fiber. So Perry Stollett chose the Raisin Bran cereal with eight grams of fiber in it. Number two, below is a choice of two types of bread and two different snacks. Circle the items you think would be the high fiber choices. All right, so again, we're gonna hold up a number one if you think the first option is better or a number two if you think the second option might be a better choice. So our first option is white bread and our second option is whole grain bread. So think about it for a second and then hold up a one if you think white bread is a better choice or a two if you think whole grain bread is a better choice. All right, what do you think? Okay, and then we have another question this time. So you're gonna hold up a one if you think potato chips are a better choice, and you're gonna hold up a two if you think popcorn is a better choice. So think about it for a second and then hold up your fingers. What do you think? Way to go. Well, here are Perry Stollick's answers. Let's check out what she said. My parents have told me for years to always choose the whole grain bread for its fiber content. Popcorn also has fiber and this one is especially good because it is low fat too. I hope I am not talking too loud. I keep forgetting about these earplugs. So number three, fruits and vegetables are some of the healthiest foods a person can eat. They are loaded with vitamins, water, and lots of fiber. Write the names of the fruits and veggies pictured below. Also, in case there is a tie between finalists, following is the tiebreaker solution. List as many other fruits and veggies as you can in the extra space below. So what is the first fruit that we have up on the screen? You can follow my mouse right here. Apples, good job. And does anybody know what this food is? It's a vegetable that's up on the screen. Does anybody know? What about purple cabbage? Have you heard of that before? Okay. And then what about this vegetable? I bet most of you guys know what it is. Yes, carrots. And then this over here is a fruit. What fruit do you think it is? Yeah, and then what is this vegetable down here? Okay, and then what is this fruit right here? And then what about this one over here that's purple? Have you seen them before? And then last one, monkeys and kids both tend to love these. I bet you know what this is. Monkeys and kids go bananas for bananas. So let's go back through them. We have apples, red cabbage or purple cabbage, carrots, strawberries, corn, grapes, plums. I didn't give that one to you right away. I wanted to see if you knew it. And then bananas. All right, good job. And after we finish the story, you, can, you guys can write out or draw more fruits and vegetables that you can think of and see if you know more than your classmates do. See if there's somebody who knows the most fruits and vegetables in your class.
Perry says, oh boy, now I am getting a little nervous. Did you know all of these? I had better come up with a good list in case there is a tie. Let's see, so here are Perry's answers. Apples, cabbage, carrots, strawberries, corn, grapes, plums, and bananas. We did pretty good on those. And then she's got a lot of fruits and vegetables listed underneath them too. So I'm gonna read them out to you. And then after the storybook, see if you can think of any that she did not think of. She has artichokes, broccoli, kiwi, okra, peas, onions, grapefruit, pineapple, watermelon, cherries, leafy greens, pears, zucchini, spinach, raspberries, tangerines, celery, eggplant, blackberries, and peaches. I've already thought of a couple that she didn't think about. What about oranges and blueberries? They're not on there. I bet if I can think of a couple, you guys can think of a lot more that she didn't think of. Give it a try. I'm all done, signed, sealed, and ready to be delivered by airmail by my friend Wendy. How do you think I did? Be honest, do you think I have a chance? The winner will be contacted sometime next week. I can't wait. In the meantime, I suppose I can take out my earplugs. Finally, a letter and a box from the High Fiber Movement Organization. I'm almost too nervous to open it. I can't bear to read it. Will you tell me what it says? Can you guys read what that letter says? Ready? One, two, three, all together, say it. You are the winner. Oh, I can't believe it, I won. Look, they also sent a great gift box that contains high fiber cereal, whole wheat bread, oatmeal, a fruit basket, and a roll of toilet paper. Now that's pretty funny. I think I'm going to like this organization. Even though they know how important the high fiber movement is, they seem to have a great sense of humor about it too. I want to thank all of you for your encouragement along the way. If this contest comes to your state, be sure to sign up. You definitely have what it takes to be a high fiber movement leader. <laughs>